Now what I thought we'd do is a martini, keeping on this, this trend of, of fancy martinis being very popular. And this next martini is a martini that I made up for the Ooh, company that we serve where I work. And um, it's called the Swedish Nanny Martini, and it's a, like a different twist on, on the traditional one. This is, again, a little bit, going to be kind of like a little bit sweeter than uh, a real standard martini drinker would like. But it's good. It's kind of like a fruity kind of martini. So. I'm get a nice chill. Actually, let me wait on this. I'm going to jump the gun on this one. Rinse my hands off here. We'll get the shaker cup. Make a nice straight up one. Fill it up with ice. are really popular now. I'm sure all of you that uh, work in restaurants notice how many people ask for different types of martinis, like the chocolate martini. There's a lot of them that aren't just your standard traditional martinis. And like I said, this one is for somebody that's willing to try something a little bit different and that uh, probably has a little bit of a sweet tooth. I don't think, like I said, I don't think a real traditional sort of cigar chomping martini drinking person would would want to try this. I mean, maybe they would, but I think you're better off uh, suggesting it to somebody that's a little bit more adventurous. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Absolute Courant, which is their black currant flavored vodka, which is very nice, very kind of fruity. And we're going to put in about an ounce, I'll we'll do about a little bit more. There we go. About an ounce and a fourth of Courant vodka. And then keeping with our Scandinavian theme here, we're gonna use some Lilyhammer, which is a Scandinavian berry liqueur. I'm gonna put in about three fourths of an ounce of that. And then I'm going to take a little white cream to cocoa. Just a little bit, like a fourth of an ounce. You don't want too, too much. And then to kind of give it um, kind of exotic color, we're going to use a little blue curacao. Let's pour in about half an ounce of blue curacao. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this a little airplane bottle here, this Godet white chocolate liqueur. And we're going to pour in about half an ounce of white chocolate liqueur. You could just use regular cream if you wanted to, just a splash of cream if you didn't want to get this. This is pretty good, though, mixed with things. It's good. Shake it up. And then I'm going to get my martini glass. And then I figure we put some red sugar crystals on the edge. Give it a nice effect since it's kind of a nice sweet type of drink. I'm going to shake it off a little bit. And up. See, it's kind of an exotic kind of color. And again, this is kind of. Um, a chocolatey type of martini. So again, it's almost like in a way like a dessert martini. And I'm not filling this all the way up because this is like a really big martini glass. This is a 10 ounce martini glass. So I try to 
try, try not to fill those up too much because you don't want to be giving somebody that big of a drink that's all basically all liquor. If you put regular cream in it or milk, you might want to fill it up a little bit more. But where I put all liquor in it, I don't want to do that because that really is like a little bit too much. So we'll do a little dollop of whipped cream on the side there. And then what I thought we'd do is you take a nice strawberry, keeping with the berry theme. And we'll stick the strawberry right on the side there. And we'll use some of these nice harlequin sprinkles. And get our straw. And we'll really dress this one up. And then we'll take one of these nice little peach wheels too. There we go. And there we have the Swedish Nanny Martini made with the Absolute Current Vodka, which is the black currant vodka. And again, that's sort of like, in a way, like a dessert martini. But it's something like that's really fun. If you serve something like that in your restaurant, people will automatically want to know what it is because of the color. And it's something if you made it at home, people will be like, wow, you know, what's this? It's something really different. And again, that just shows you that there's a lot more than you can do that you can do to make a martini than just throwing some gin or vodka in a glass. Because basically to me, most uh, martinis, the old fashioned martinis are just like an excuse to drink, you know, straight vodka or gin in the glass. Um, and this way, they're getting something a little bit more. It's not quite as quite as strong, and it's it's different. It's fun. All in, all, all in, all in, all in.